All right. So in looking at our cup, we're going to draw something of a rectangle around it, considering the top edge being our largest edge, right? So we're going to try to imagine this. So everyone is roughly about the same distance away, which is good. So we'll all kind of follow the same drawing. So I'm going to have you guys just on the top draw that same line that we were talking about with the plane. So this is a plane in perspective. Nope, put this on the um, on the regular drawing paper. And you want it pretty even because this is this is a symmetrical object, so it won't be like a rectangle. And just like we've done in the past, we're going to check our plane, okay, and make sure that our lines are converging in both directions, like this. The front and back of your plane should be pretty darn close. They don't have to be exact, but they should be pretty darn close. Like front one's kind of right below the other. And again, if you have an eraser and it's helpful to you to kind of tighten lines up, you can do that. Now we're gonna we're gonna imagine that we're drawing a complete rectangle around this box. It's going to have straight sides for right now. So you're going to take a line and go down from the front corner. And you're going to have parallel lines along the side. This is why it was important to have the box drawing first. And we're going to make it pretty tall. Some of the boxes we've made so far are kind of short. These are a little taller. Because mm -hmm. our, our cup is essentially a little bit taller. And I'm going to say if you're, if you're on a half sheet of paper or if you're on a, depending on where you're at, you're going to have it probably, let's say, this length times about maybe one and a half along the front. So the proportion again is this, this front length by one, maybe one and a half, maybe right about there. I'll stop it right there. I think that's good. Now, again with the trick of using the pencils, and if you need an extra pencil, grab an extra pencil. We want to take this line, and I need your eyes please. Slide it in this direction so that it's parallel, and then we're going to bring it up a little bit. I'll do it again. Take that line, slide it down parallel, tweak it up just a tiny bit, and make a mark. That's why you need two pencils. Okay. And do the same thing with the other side. Tweak it up just a smidge. We're going to drop down this back line. As if we can see through it, because this is an imaginary framework that goes around. And I'm going to do the same thing with the back lines. I'm going to slide it down to this point where we intersect right here. And I'm going to tweak it up just a little bit. So I have these receding, <coughs> excuse me, and do the same thing with the right side, bring it down to that point, and it should intersect just where I want it, and it does. Now once you have that point, and we have this plane that's in place on the bottom, 
notice our cup is smaller on the bottom. Considerably smaller, right? So we're going to try to find the center so that we can size the cup on the bottom. So I am going from corner to corner, corner to corner, and drawing an X on the bottom plane. Just the same as, let's say, if I were thinking of a square, right? And I'm going like this, but we're doing it in a perspective plane so that I have a center. I'm gonna do the same thing with the top. And that should give me a center as well on the top. I'm going to come around and check, so I'll, I'll pause the video really quick. Is going to be the next step is going to be bringing that ellipse on just the top. So again, we're going to mark those centers on that plane, so we make sure that we hit it, and then we're going to just really gently try to draw an ellipse that fits inside that plane. Once you get that ellipse inside the top plane, that's the top of your cup, right? And the cup that we're looking at. We're not gonna just do an ellipse on the bottom side because that would just be like a tumbler. That would be like a straight cup. We don't have a straight cup. So what we wanna do, and this is key, is we wanna bring in our bottom plane and make it smaller. Not by much, but watch how I do this, guys. I'm just gonna go like this and almost make it somewhat parallel lines on that X that we that we drew. Right? And now I have a smaller size for the bottom ring of the cup. I'm going to find the centers of those. I'm going to make a smaller ellipse. Now I'll pause the video in just a second help you guys with this next step. And now I have a small size and a big size. Now with these ellipses, you want to make sure they come out as far as you can get them into the corners here. So you're almost like just kind of stretching it into that corner. So it's as far as we can go with it. Again, you can bring in your eraser if that's helpful. And then we're just going to draw a line from this bottom ellipse to the top ellipse. There's a lot more detail in the cup, but I'm less worried about that. I want you guys to get the structure. And when we look at this now, all of a sudden it looks like a cup, right? A cup with a box around it. So let's try to get there. Once we've done our practice cup, okay, and we feel good about the structure of it, using the plane on the top, the plane on the bottom that comes in. Okay. Um, I want you guys to all do a second cup. So you can flip your page over if you're using a folded half sheet or you can get another piece of paper. We're gonna start with the plane on the top. Again. And again, we're gonna make it parallel and then tweak it just a tiny bit to make sure that we have a plane that is in perspective. It 
It would be good to have the front corner and the back corner somewhat close, if not directly above and below each other, as this is a symmetrical object. We're going to come down in our length on all sides and just kind of leave them a little bit open. And then we're going to measure our distance across and go down about one to one and a quarter lengths. That's the ratio. Our last cup was a little bit tall. And then we're going to use that same perspective trick. We're going to start with our pencil here, slide it down parallel, and then on the bottom we go up, not down. And then we're going to do it over here, slide it down, tilt it up just a little so that when we put our pencils right here, we can see that they're converging in this direction. They're coming together on either side. This one wants to roll like this. Okay. We're going to again draw this as if it was transparent. So I will do the same thing on the bottom to create a bottom plane. I'll slide it over to this corner until we get down just a little. That's probably going to meet up just around this point on the front line. So that's going to get a little confusing, but remember it's a symmetrical object. Mine's a little bit too the left of center. This line really is truly just a little bit left of center, which I find a little bit easier to see when I can see a full front and back corner. And I'll erase that back so you guys can see that a little bit a little bit more clearly. Okay. Once we have that, we're going to put an X across our bottom plane from corner to corner and an X across our top plane from corner to corner. From there, we're going to slide the bottom plane in just a little bit because the bottom of our cup is smaller. So I'm just doing a parallel line to this edge. Do it in both directions. Just bring it in a little bit. And then that establishes where you're going to draw the next two lines in the other direction. And that gives you the bottom of your cup. From there, we're going to do our ellipses. Again, we're going to look at that top plane. Put a dot kind of where we feel the center of that of each side is. We're going to draw our ellipse and we're going to kind of get it as tight into that corner as we can so it looks like a full ellipse. Again, you can use your eraser if that's helpful to see it and to tighten up your line just a smidge. And we're going to do the same with the bottom. One thing you'll notice with this, which is something I haven't spoken about before, so everybody in the classroom, if you'd take a look at this, the, the top ellipse is larger in width but it's more narrow up and down because it's closer to our horizon line. The bottom ellipse is a little bit smaller in its width and it's side to side, but it's a little bit taller because it's farther away from the horizon line. So we're going to do the bottom ellipse, finding the centers of each sides of these planes. the ellipse right into the corner and then we can from there draw the side angle of our cups. 
And then we have the structure of the cup. If you would like, you can start to draw some of the details of the cup. And I would erase a little bit some of the structure lines at that point, just so they don't get confusing. And it's okay. Once you've used them for the structure and you have the structure, you don't really need them anymore. And I just get them out of the way so that I could start to draw. The outside of this cup has a little thickness, so you can see I'm trying to show that by adding a little thickness to the outside lip of that cup. And I'm really just following the same ellipse, almost like the parallel lines here. I'm following that same ellipse around the edge to show the lip of the cup. And if you look closely at your cup, you'll notice that the lip and the side are a little bit of a step. So you might want to show that too. Right there. Tighten up your lines. meaning making them darker. And I would darken the front ellipses so that they become predominant and show the color. 